this area between the three pillars. And there's some on the grass patch. Not very far in, but just uh, probably they are knocked, out, knocked, away, or knocked off the road by passing vehicles or something. After we knew what it was, then it was easy to see it because it, yeah, yeah, it, they're yellow. But other, otherwise, if you didn't know, like now the road is pretty clean. I think that maybe the sweeper just came by, but I don't know whether you saw the, the playground there had a lot of fallen leaves. So yes, that uh, there's usually fallen leaves around, and you know you don't really see a difference. Uh, so I was just walking my dog uh, before going to work, and just taking one of the usual routes around the block. Uh, so just uh, I was just throwing something I was just throwing uh, something in the dustbin and then when I turned around I stepped on the nail on the floor then uh, at first I didn't know what it was uh, but I could feel it, it went quite deep into my foot so uh, I just quickly took off my my slipper which was probably a mistake because the screw had the threads and uh, so when it came out there was a lot of blood and I was quite shocked uh, because I did I did I didn't really know what was going on. I just saw like there's a lot of blood, uh, you know, everywhere. And then I uh, I started calling for help, and I and uh, there were two guys who were sitting uh, outside their ground floor flat, um, just a few meters away. So they came to assist me. So one of the guys uh, went back into his uh, unit to get a first aid kit. I uh, just uh, applied some alcohol wipes uh, and uh, a plaster for me. Then, uh, then after that, we were looking at what was the thing that I stepped on. Then so, I, so we retrieved my slipper and then we found the, the two inch screw uh, firmly lodged in, the, in my slipper. And then with the, the lemon uh, skin as well. Uh, then after that, we were looking around, we found about uh, two handfuls more, maybe about eight or ten uh, pieces more uh, of, the, of the same thing with this, the two-inch screw uh, inserted into the lemon so that they stand upright on the, on the ground. Then uh, after that, I, I called my wife and my dad to come and assist me. Um, then while we were waiting for them, I called the police, uh, the, the, the nearby police uh, post as well. Um, I asked them if, they, if I needed to wait for them to come, but they said, no, since you're bleeding, go to, go to a doctor first. So I went to the doctor and then I took two of the screws with me, lah, just in case. Then the rest, I asked the uncle, the uncle who helped me to clear up in case somebody else steps on it. So actually, while I was waiting, while I was waiting there, quite a lot of people walked past. Like the, there was a family pushing a stroller. Uh, you know, old people. There's one guy. There's one guy in a motorized wheelchair who who rode past. All these people, we have to tell them, you know, you know, but look, look out, be careful. Uh, sharp objects around. Um. So I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not a lot of traffic, but there are still a lot. Uh, there are still people. I mean, residents especially who who walk around that that area. So I think it's quite dangerous. Here, yeah, right in the middle, right in the middle of my foot. Um, you can't see it now because it's bandaged up. But uh, the hole the hole is not very big. Cause it's just a small. It's just a small hole because it's a screw. But it, but the screw went in about a centimeter a centimeter in. Uh, so actually now I can still feel like a throbbing kind of a pain inside and, and I can't, can't rest my weight on it, probably for a few days. Basically the doctor just uh, clean the wound, make sure that there's not, nothing stuck inside. Um, so yeah, then he clean, clean, cleaned it, the general cleaning, uh, gave me a tetanus shot in my arm, um, some antibiotics and pain killers. Um, then, um, just some other antiseptic washes to to wash to wash uh, the wound area over the next few days. I mean, right now the, uh, we don't really know who did it or for what reason, but uh, I think whoever did it, I don't think he, I don't think they intended it to harm humans. 
I think uh, my guess would be it's probably more for for puncturing car tires uh, since it's on the road as opposed to on a sidewalk. Um, but I mean, they they should have considered that you know this this area is a is a mature estate. There are a lot of old people. There are a lot of families as well, and you know you can't control where where people are walking, and like 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 me, yeah, unfortunate that I, that I had that I stepped on one. You know, but even if you were if you were targeting cars, I mean that's not that's not the right thing to do, either. You know, you don't make a complaint to the town council if you're not happy about something or or or, or what. You don't don't just uh uh you know go around puncturing car tires.